it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. Happy Thursday y'all. Happy Thursday. Whew. It's been a whirlwind week y'all and today I gotta tell you um, I had a whole to-do list and I got off at around two o'clock and I was like I'm not doing a thing until the live tonight. I just need to have a little rest. I do need to run an errand because the husband can't drive so I'm gonna get that done with and just rest until the live because I'm looking forward to making all sorts of embellishments with y'all. Oh yes I am. I don't know what y'all are going to work on. I think I'm going to work on, I prepped a bunch for Halloween and I, I prepped a bunch for Christmas. So I just have to decide kind of what I'm inspired to do and I'll decide that in the moment. But I hope y'all can join us at 7 30 tonight. We're going to be crafting up a storm and helping each other make some nice embellishments to get ready which is really exciting. Um, I know lots of people have been requesting embellishments. So let's craft together and chat and catch up, which will be nice because I haven't had a chance to film anything, y'all. I got a happy meal from Alvia. Oh, you know it's a replacement carrier, y'all, not Sandy, because it was jammed. You know, Crafty Pan Paw Mama Kayla has this problem, and I never have it here. Oh my goodness, y'all, I almost couldn't get out of the box. It, it, they just jammed Alvia's package in. Hopefully nothing's broken. It is in the disinfecting bin. And my package from Andrea Bethke arrived, but I can't open it yet. So uh, that's exciting. And y'all, I got a new wireless keyboard. I'm so excited. So uh, things up to open, but not today. Um, so I'm gonna go run that errand and then I'm gonna come back and rest until our live tonight. We have a whole hot mess of PPE that has to be cleaned and other groceries. Oh my goodness, y'all. It looks like a hot mess in the front area. My craft area is a hot mess, the entranceway, because we were so exhausted yesterday. We didn't get home until late, and like late. And we were so pooped, y'all, both of us. We, we were just so drained from the whole thing. Thank you all so much for checking in. Marcy, thank you. That, I mean, so many of you checked in. And, and y'all have lots on your plate, like Elsa's husband has had a stroke and Lizzie's going, I mean, everyone's going through something. Belinda's still struggling. So fancy Nancy's bones are healing. I mean, everyone's got something. So it meant a lot that you know, so many of you took the time to, to text. Lauren Cunningham sent the whole thing about a scooter with a boot. Super nice of y'all. Uh, we're gonna try something for six weeks. It's gonna keep them in a cast. Y'all, it's a bit of a risk, you see. You know, we're trying to avoid surgery and you can understand that because one, it's COVID and two, at, at, my husband's 13 years older than I am. And at his age, the if you look at the studies, there sometimes are much worse complications by operating, but we got a problem, y'all. They showed me yesterday, I went to the appointments with him and we, we retested him again yesterday because they were very concerned. It was a whole day affair, y'all. Um, we, it, it, they even showed me where he rebroke the bone and it's clear on the, it's clear even on the x-ray that shows up. And then he has another situation on the top of his foot that they don't know if it's a refracture or a non-union heel. Like it's really hard for them to tell because it's not, um, oh, they explained, but I guess in this kind of imaging, Heather would understand this better, but, uh, or any of my nurse friends would understand this better, but the way in which it presents on the CT and the MRI, it's unclear if it's a new, like a refracture or it's the existing stress fracture from before that's just not healing. So we're gonna try a bone stimulator in a couple of places for six weeks and see if we get any further positive growth. But it means no driving, which is really hard on both of us because I have to do all the running. So like last night I had to go to the pharmacy to get things, I had to go, even though I was so exhausted. Um, and he feels bad about that because he doesn't want to drain me, right? He can't help with anything y'all. Like he really can't, he's in that much pain. I've never seen this man lie down so much in my life. He's just, he kind of is an ants in the pants man. And he spends, a, I don't know, 70% of his time lying down with leg up. So you know he's suffering and that's hard to watch in a partner. It sure is. And then he feels really guilty because it's up to me to not only run all the errands and do the groceries and y'all know I'm only supposed to go out once a week and he can't help it. You know, it's like, I gotta go to the pharmacy. I got, I try to only go during vulnerable hours. And, uh, oh my goodness, y'all. So if I'm looking poopy pooped, you know why. But I'm so looking forward to crafting with you tonight and catching up. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I'm super, super stoked. Thank you all again for all of your messages. I don't know what I do without y'all. 
I know I'm behind on videos and comments, but I will catch up because tomorrow, as you know, is fun Friday. And guess what I'm doing all day? Watching your videos and crafting. Uh, thank you all again. And I'll see you tonight at 730, y'all. All right. Take real good care. Bye for now.